Patel. Oh, so we are back. 2024. Happy New Year. And uh, we are starting with some light jobs, yeah, like this one. So this is a job from a local repair shop. The laptop came here with charging port not working. Change it. <laughs> it's like, you know, okay, you have to do that, yeah? So keep your skill for anything else, but do what I ask to do. And you should never do something like that. I learned this on the hard way. Let's assume you replace the charging port and the laptop is still not working. You think you'll charge the money? No, the customer it will never pay. So always do it on your way. Yeah. Diagnose the problem. Have in mind what the customer said, but somewhere far. Yeah. Have in mind. Diagnose the laptop and, uh, you know, pick up a solution, a repair solution. Now, let's check what the customer want to do here. Charging port, yeah? Like how I said, we are looking far away from what the customer want. Charging port. Let's check the charging port under the microscope. So, this is the charging port. And as you can see, the charging port is perfect. I will never, ever replace this kind of charging port. I mean, you can clearly see the charging port has all pins there. And on the other side as well, yeah? All pins are present there. So, you know what I mean? Whatever is going wrong with the laptop, you, the, the CPU is burning, the laptop is start firing. The customer, it will say, no, it's because of the charging port. It's same, it are the same like the people with the TVs. Must be a fuse. <laughs> okay, let's open this laptop. The laptop is not coming on. Let's open and actually diagnose the fault. Okay, so the laptop is open. Uh, let's have a look at the charging port. By the way, this is a Lenovo T14. Charging port is here. First, I will check the charging port. Just to be sure, you know, the pins are soldered. Those uh, laptops, they have, uh, I mean, all laptops with the USB-C, they have this problem. So basically, the pins are getting ripped off from the motherboard. So I will not be surprised if that's the case here. But that doesn't mean we have to replace the charging port. Okay, let's go under the microscope because I cannot see anything there. Let's see. Oh, that does the charge board and everything looks fine till the moment you start moving pins. So check here, yeah? Every pin, you can see, check that, the pins are moving. The pins are not soldered, but this is a lucky case where actually the pads are still good, you can see. But what do you think it will change if you replace the charge board? Nothing. I mean, the port is fine. All this laptop need is the pins to be resoldered back. Let's take the, the port out and have a look. Okay, yeah. So behind of the charging port, you can see we have another row of pins, yeah? So I'm gonna use some uh, uh, 180 degree solder wire. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, and perfect. Now everything here is perfect, apart from that resistor, but I've seen it. I've seen it. I have 255 degrees on my hot air perfect now let's see the charging port on the other side yeah we have to be sure uh, you know, the solder, it all goes on the pins, like here, you can see. Perfect, now we can solder the port back. 
260 degrees should be fine. With 206, you can see you cannot melt the plastic. Oh wait, this is not plastic, okay. Okay, so the port now is soldered properly on place. We can make it better a little bit. But the problem was not here on the case. The problem was it with, the, with the middle plastic holding the pins. You remember? Perfect. Now let's clean it. Yeah, just to be shining nicely. Perfect, like brand new, huh? Let's test now. Let's see. So we have the meter and the USB C. Plug in the charger. The meter, you can't see the meter, sorry. Yeah, the meter is coming on, it's charging with two amps. It's solid, yeah, you can see I'm, I'm, I'm moving the board with the charging port and it's solid. Hmm? Proper nice and easy job. Now here is not really point on using the uh, hot glue. I see on the last jobs, uh, people said, oh, sorry, just a little bit of hot glue can make a difference. You have to pay attention, where do you have the problem? with the metallic case or with the pins inside. And like in this case, with the pins inside, it's not much what you can do, even with hot glue. So how is everyone? Everyone start the new year happy? I mean, you know, the learning process, it will continue every year. So we're going to learn a lot of nice things this year, yeah? We're trying to get our skill better. Getting our skill better means we can fix more electronics in less time, yeah? Even if you know how to fix electronics, uh, you start getting better, like better soldering skill, better diagnostic, and uh, you will short the time for the repairs. Shorting the times for the repairs means more money, yeah? Charging fine. Perfect. 19 volts, 2 amps. Charging perfect. Now let's see if it's coming on. Pressing the power button. It is coming on. We still have the charging current, 2 amps. You can see, like in a case like this, the laptop, it will sacrifice the charging current in order to get the laptop working. I mean, even if I shut down the, the laptop, I still have two amps. That means the laptop and the battery are sharing two amps. All good, so we have picture here. I'm gonna stop now. It's just, you know, a nice and pleasant job and we didn't replace the charging port. I will say uh, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video and uh, see you on the next one. Bye.